week because mm. you not only were the HOH, you also won the power veto. You said so yourself by winning both would be putting a huge target on your back. <laughs> huge so why did you play so hard for the POV? Were you trying to prove something? Why did you win it? Why did I win it last week? Last week. I can't not win things. Like, I can't go into something and not give 100% of myself. It's just not in me. Um, I tried to do the same strategy with the HOH last week, slow and steady, but, you know, Caleb just beast moded it. I have to say it. I'll give it to him. He did do it, so. Now, when you did have all the power last week, you could have turned I know. on one of the guys, but you didn't. You did not. You regret that now that you're with me? Honestly, no. Why not? I do not because it's not who I am as a person, and ultimately you all know I'm playing this game for charity, and I would like to have won this game knowing that I didn't compromise my values as a person. So no, I do not regret that decision. You seem to trust Derek the most in this game. Yes. Obviously he voted you out tonight. Yes. What do you think of Derek now as we sit here? You know, I still love him. I respect him probably the most because he is playing for his family and he is willing to do whatever it takes to take the money home to his family. He showed it to me with Donnie because as y'all saw, I did not want that man to go, but Derek was like, nope, he's got to go. And at that point, I knew that he would probably do it to me soon. You came into this house with a huge secret <laughs> that your sister is the Ariana Grande. <laughs> and <laughs> no information on the outside world, okay. not yet. Okay. Let me just say it's this. It's her album. Doing well. No information on the outside world. <laughs> we know you love and care for her. Okay. She has a bright future. Let's put it that way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you revealed this secret yeah. at a very crucial time in your game. Yes. Do you think coming clean with this information actually got you farther in the game? I do, actually. Um, I believe that I was in a very sticky situation that week, day 49, I'll never forget it. And, um, you know, it was, at that point I was at my all-time low as a person. I forgot who I was, and I felt like coming out about myself, about my family, would help me get through the game. And for me, it did. It made me fight harder as Frankie, as Frankie J. Grande. Also, I feel like, honestly, it shook the house up. They it certainly like, did. We forgot about everything that you just lied about. Now, we, we, now, now we're on to the next thing. So I think that worked. worked. Kind of sprinkle this magic dust around. <laughs> Don't look over here. Look over here. <laughs> magic. Glitter. Now, Frankie, in the event you were the one evicted tonight, your housemate oh. saved some goodbye messages. Julie, hold my hand. Let's watch it. Okay. <laughs> Frankie, man, my pie's on from the beginning. To be honest, you would blow anyone away in this game because you play the exact same social game as me with double the amount of competition wins. Oh. So to be honest, dude, that was the reason why I had to target That's you nice. because I didn't want to sit next to you at the end. Frankie, I am sorry that you have to leave at this point of the game. They have some opportunity to either send you packing or hand you the $500,000. They chose to send you packing. I wish you the best of luck and I will see you very soon. Love you. Frankie, oh. you're by far one of the best players in this game, and I have total intentions on honoring our commitment to the end as part of Team America. But at the end of the day, we're both here for the same reason, and now I have to do what's good for my game. Take care, and I'll see you soon. You're one of my best friends in this house. Thank you for the times that you kept me safe, and uh, you're welcome for you sitting next to Julie. You're a beast in this game. You're the man, Frankie J. All right. All right. All right.